create. So let's demonstrate how to create that quota reminder class. It's, uh, at first, it's cut and paste. It's a, a template for a simple test. Okay, let's replace a class name. Let's call it test quota reminder. Then let's uh, just create a basic uh, create object, a usual uh, first test, just to get things started. So, reminder <clears throat> equals new quota reminder. Then this assert not null reminder. New test quota reminder. Okay, let's name it test quota reminder. Okay, and then let's run this on browser. And naturally, we'll get an error because we don't have quota reminder yet. So let's create one. And run the test. Oh, yeah, we haven't included it yet, of course. But I forget. Quiet, one. There, I need that's the best. Now let's add another test case. This one. Um, let's pretend that the uh, simplest one is that we are given a user and we will uh, determine if that user is, um, is supposed to be sent a message or not, or is supposed to be notified or not. So test uh, if user is to be notified. It's good to be verbose with your names just to be clear. Okay, so again, reminder equals new, quote a reminder. And then let's create a helper function for this. Helper function is a function in our test that is not a test, but it's just used to set things up for the test. For example, uh, we we have this create user method, and then we will pass a name and a quota and the email address, and it's going to return to us an entity for that. Okay, so let's say Joe, and then nine, quota is 92, and Joe at mango.com. Let's say that's his email. Okay, and then we assert true reminder um, user is to be notified user okay so let's create that helper function here create user name quota email then all we have to do is return an array okay just to be simple Username, his name, and then quota is a quota, and email is the email. Okay, so run the test, it will definitely fail because you don't have a user is to be notified method for quota reminder. So let's go to quota reminder and create that function. User is to be notified user. Okay, so why don't we just you know, return true? Just to fulfill our test here, which looks for a true value. So run the test. Okay, so that means we have sufficient um, stuff in our quota reminder to do a real test. Okay, so this time let's assert the false. Let's say this create use and let's say an has just a quota of 89 so uh 90 percent and above should be notified 89 percent below should not be notified and at domain.com okay and so what do we do we assert that it's false reminder user is to be notified user okay 
run it it fails why because we expected false we got true so we change code a reminder let's put in the real implementation okay user quota is greater than 90 okay so should be greater than 90 okay we're passing okay i'm not very convinced yet okay what if the user's quota is exactly 90 uh -huh. so does this um actually uh, notify the user or not so let's say the user's name is jerry jerry okay so we said it should alert 90 percent and above so it should be true user is to be notified user okay so let's run this should be greater than or equal so reminder that when you're testing you should also test the edge cases just to make sure you know you're you're properly implementing edge cases like that when it's exactly 90 it's below 90 it's greater than 90. okay so i'm sufficiently convinced that our user is to be notified uh, method is uh, correct actually this uh, this one's very simple test you know but if you have a more complicated uh, means or algorithm for checking if a user is to be notified uh, TDD will come really okay. this one might appear contrived at first because our case is very simple for the sake of demonstration okay let's have a next test case our next test case is that if the user is to be notified we want that uh, we want to verify that the user has been actually sent an email message okay so um, difficulty here is that normally you would have to go through the whole application just to test if the user is really being sent an email you have to set up a test email account and see if the message comes in so it's not very easy to replicate or to automate right so what we can do is that we can create a mock object to act as our mailer okay and we'll make that mock object very very simple just to um, just to demonstrate that it's actually sending email and then when we when it comes to actual implementation time we can just create a very simple implementation for that okay so why don't we just do that uh, test email user okay so always start with a test now there's a problem. How does the, our quota reminder get to uh, 